Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, it's uh, been a while since I've made a video. Um, past few months I've been extremely, really, really busy. Things are good. And uh, I'm back. It's been a while since I have recorded anything. So here we go. Opening video. Uh, I've done one of them. A bit of fun, you know. Uh, also did a charging cable. Uh, that was a bit of fun as well, you know, something to do. Uh, just to introduce the uh, channel. Or one main reason why I got uh, the Xbox One was uh, Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3 um, was one of the main reasons why I got the uh, why I got the console. Uh, I've been a Dead Rising fan ever since day one really, uh, ever since the original Dead Rising with Frank West came out. Uh, I was a fan of that. Uh, then I saw, um, it was a few years ago now that uh, they were making a Dead Rising 3 and I thought wow that's amazing. Then of course it was only for Xbox One, a bit unfortunate. Uh, I've waited until now to get one. Yeah, finally got my hands on it. Over the Christmas period, over Christmas and New Year, I did manage to complete the game and, you know, here is my review. So I've completed the game of Dead Rising 3. In all honesty, uh, it doesn't disappoint. I love it. Uh, it came out in November, uh, back in 2013. It was a game that you could get on the actual day. Uh, it's a day one edition, uh, which is what I've got. However, it doesn't come with uh, the Frank West outfit or the uh, Chuck Green outfit. Um, well, that doesn't matter. It's still an awesome game. Um, yeah, that being said, you still enjoy it. So, this time around, you play as a guy called Nick Ramos. Nick Ramos is there. Uh, that is the main guy that you play as. Nick Ramos is a mechanic. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He knows how to use his hands. He knows what he's doing. Uh, you play in a, I don't know if it's fictional, I don't know, California that way. However, it's called Los Perdidos. I think that's how you pronounce it, and it is set in California. It's set 10 years after the Fortune City outbreak, so the Chuck Green incident set 10 years after that. If you play the game, then you kind of understand why it's 10 years. You know, think about it, certain character, plus 10 years. Oh yeah, there you go. It does take place in the future, it takes place in 2021. So, you know, 10 years, shit's hit the fan, and uh, yeah. the zombies aren't gone. Zombrex has just escalated. Uh, instead of being the thing that's meant to help you, it kind of turns you into a zombie. Uh, so Zombrex, it's shit really. Um, as much as they pumped about it and hyped it up like, yeah, get Zombrex, it's crap. Pretty much don't get it. Like I say, you play as Nick Ramos in a third person mode. Um, when you first do get a hold of him, uh, the first play around, um, he does feel slow, he does feel sluggish, he feels quite heavy and bulky. Uh, but as you get to play him, uh, you can build up your character to level 50, which is cool, you know, you can do that again, well worth it. It does feel slow. Um, same with lugging around the weapons. Even a baseball bat, it does feel slow when he's striking zombies. Um, so, handling, not great. The zombies, when you first see them, you know, there's a handful, and then you think, wow, there's a lot there, you know, as you're just getting away from a plane crash. And you think, wow, there's a lot of zombies. And then you get into... You know, Los Perdidos, I think that's how you say it, and it, it just escalates. There's, I don't know how many thousands of zombies, but there's an awful lot on the screen, which is great. You know, a lot of screen time zombies. And it's, it's not like there's just one or two in a little crowd, and then you can see another crowd. They literally, they fill the whole street. There's this one certain part on the map, it's a bit of a housing residential area, there's fences, a few houses, then there's like a, a diner, I think it is. And that road is just stretched full of zombies, which is awesome. You know, when I saw the trailers, I thought, holy crap, there's so many zombies, I don't think I'll be able to take all of them. And it's wrong. It's, there is so many of them. There's so many of them that it's a challenge. It's a challenge to kill them all. It's a challenge to get past them. But one negative part of, of how Nick gets past the zombies is it is negative because he can't seem to get past them. He jumps and he's, oh, I can't, oh, I can't, I can't jump past a zombie. And it's annoying, you're pressing the jump button to jump over a handful of zombies to, to make your way through and you can't do it. And if if uh, if you're running past a crowd of zombies and you haven't been attacked for a while, you're running quite well, you, you know, you're getting past them. You get into the area that you want to go to. If you haven't been attacked for a while, there's a zombie that's ten foot away, it'll just go boo like that, and it's got you and it's it's injured you, oh it stumbles you. Every time you get hit, you stumble. And it's annoying because it's ten foot away. Fuck off. Don't touch me. I'm ten foot away. And he, he, he... 
Oh, it, it catches you. And it's annoying. Why? Why do that to you? It's annoying. Yeah, you haven't been attacked, but he's 10 feet away. Fuck off. Leave me alone. I can run past him and then I just jump on you and then there's a little quick short time event. But it's all fun. It's been like that since day one. So, getting back to Nick Ramos. He's a cool guy. However, he's got an interesting tattoo on his neck. And then he meets his mate Diego. He's got an interesting tattoo on his neck. Now, there is a twist that you only find out right at the very end. It's a big plot twist and it just opens it up for another one. Um, another Dead Rising, which I hope there is because I love these games. There's there's not many zombies games out there, and this one's quality. But what it is is that I won't give it too too much away. But what it is is that Nick gets bitten. However, he's trying to find Zombrex, and in the end, he doesn't need it. And that's all I'm going to say. What it is is that while you're playing Dead Rising, you've got a few days to survive in Los Perdidos, uh, collect survivors, kill zombies build weapons um, and build a plane you've got to try and build a plane to get out of the the state uh, because they're gonna bomb it simple as that the government are gonna bomb it and you have got to survive get out of there and get the best ending that you possibly can but if you're a zombie fan if you played the previous Dead Rising games they were exclusively on the Xbox 360 but Dead Rising 2 was released on PS3 same with off the record um, that was also released on the PS3, um, but yeah, Dead Rising 3, I love it, one of the reasons why I got my Xbox One. Um, Nick Ramos, a uh, pretty cool sort of guy, um, sluggish to start off with, but he does build his way up, he does get better. Gameplay's good, zombies is an absolute shitload on the screen. The boss battles aren't too bad, you know, some of them are easy. I do really recommend getting gems and a torch, that is just amazing. Yeah. Help me on the last boss. Um, because I had so many of these you know, lightsabers as there were. Uh, I had so many of them and I had a few guns and the boss battle at the end was a piece of piss really. But cannot recommend Dead Rising 3 enough. If you are a Chuck Green fan, if you're a Frank West fan, if you're a zombie fan, if you've played any of the previous titles, then you know, go out and get it. I cannot recommend it enough. Amazing, really fun, enjoyable game. Also guys, we the devoted links down below as per usual. Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off. Any We The Devoted items that you decide to buy, awesome gear, 2015, go and treat yourself, buy some awesome WTD gear. But guys, here is my review of Dead Rising 3, first game uh, review that I'm doing on my Xbox One channel. Uh, so yeah, Dead Rising 3, love it. Go get it guys, can't recommend it enough. Thanks for watching.